In this video, we're going over the top five problems on this 2003 to 2009 Toyota Sienna. Number one, the O2 sensors, or the way Toyota likes to describe them as air fuel ratio sensors. You're going to have one right down here on the exhaust manifold in the front of the vehicle, and you'll have one on the back side as well. As far as symptoms, you may have some drivability issues, but you'll definitely have a check engine light with a code P2197. In general, these sensors are fairly easy to replace. You just need an O2 sensor socket, disconnect the connector, replace them, and you should be good to go. While we're under the hood, let's talk about the second problem, which is the MAF sensor, which is located right here on the airbox. You may notice some drivability issues, a little bit of hesitation, and a check engine light with a code P0101. There's a couple things you can do to fix this condition. You can remove the mass airflow sensor itself and clean it with some mass airflow sensor cleaner. Reinstall it. Make sure your air filter is clean. The reason why they get dirty is normally because the air filter is not clean, not doing its job. And if that doesn't fix it, you're going to have to replace the MAF sensor. Number three, the ignition coils. Now those are located, there's three on this side of the engine and three on the other side underneath the intake. To replace these coils, it's pretty simple on the front side of the engine. You just take the bolt out, disconnect the connector, put the new coil in. It's always best to replace the spark plug when you're replacing coils just for preventative maintenance. And the back side's gonna be a little bit trickier. You have to pull the intake off and you wanna replace the gaskets when you pull the intake off. Number four, the EVAP canister. It's located underneath the vehicle right here in front of the fuel tank. There's a little cover on top of that. Take that down. So if you get any type of EVAP code, this is the common repair for that code. Um, you always want to check the gas cap, make sure that the gas cap's not loose or make sure the gas cap, the seal looks good. Sometimes it's easier to just replace a gas cap and see if that fixes the problem before you go replacing this. <laughs> Number five, the power sliding doors, which obviously these are not working at this time. The reason why these power doors fail is because of the wiring right here. They actually fray from moving back and forth so much. So that's what's going to cause the issue. The only way to fix this is to replace the wiring harness with the motor assembly. So there's the top five problems for this Toyota Sienna. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you subscribe to our channel, ring the bell, turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of our videos.